I remember Grandma and Grandma Larson, and they were, she was really short and he was really tall. It looked like Mutt and Jeff when they were together. And I'm going to relate when I visit them how I felt and what I could see. I don't remember an awful lot. We would go up to visit, and I remember Grandpa Larson. If we'd go and step in the cow pucky or whatever was there, we would come in and Grandma would say, go roll in the spearmint. It's just like we had it all over us. Uh, they had cows and a barn and a big garden. They had all, they were sustaining themselves. And Grandma always made this nice rice pudding with raisins in it. I can see, still see that and the crust on it. It all was so good. And the little pantry in there, there were cookies and things in there all the time. They had in back the yard there, a big walnut tree. I think it was a black walnut, and we used to crack the walnuts on a stone on the porch. And they had the stone all hollowed out so it would fit nice. And I too loved that swing. They had a nice uh, swing that two or three could sit in it and rock back and forth. And it was so nice to sit out there. And those trees there were so old. I don't think they were maples. I can't quite remember what they were. They were so loaded with sparrows. And I just wanted to get in there and shoot them all. I remember Grandpa, he had this stature about him, it was kind of a str sternness, and yet he never paddled at me or anything. I just felt like I didn't want to cross him. He wore bib overalls, and they had cows as well. It was nice. They had calves, and I would get a chance to feed them with these big, long bottles. They had those great, great big nipples on them, and the barn, it seemed like it was always so clean and nice. It always smelled of hay. It was just really nice. They had some pranksters um, one time. It was around Halloween, and I don't know where it was, around there, but somebody disassembled the buggy and put it on the barn top. Uh, and they couldn't find the people or the kids to get them to take it down. They had to do it. Uh, that's all there is in this little spot, but I've got another one. I have a memory I'd like to share, of course, we went to Grandma Larson quite a bit because we live very close. One day when I went down there, she was going along the telephone poles and picket fences almost as if she was looking for a clue to some mystery. And I said, Grandma, what in the heck are you doing? And she said, I have fed 12 tramps from the railroad today, and I know that they must have a cross either on the picket fence or on the telephone pole, because some of them would chop wood when she'd feed them, and they didn't use much. There was a stack of wood. You couldn't believe how high it was. They put pieces of rag on the fence uh, something soft that you can uh, get an idea of the house. 
and they did that to notify other tramps that you could get a good meal here. Uh, and they, but she was looking for that to take it down. On one occasion, we were going to California to see the Snyders, and Grandma was with us. We stopped in Las Vegas to eat, and my father said, Mother, do you remember when we came here before? And she said, Yes, I do remember. The occasion was that she had put a nickel in a slot machine, and she won a lot of money. And Okay, I'll show some pictures of them. Uh, this one is a picture of the house that my cousin painted. And she did it in really good detail. You can see the dog and the horses, and she did a really good job of it. And this is a very big painting. It, it's about two feet high and about four or five feet long. So, and here's a picture of Grandma, and there's a little statement there. I wanted you to see the picture first, because she's dressed up like Astor's horse. And the saying says, I don't, it don't matter how much you got, it is what you do with what you got. And it says, no one close can do the work the it's hard to read that something has laid out for you in other words you have to do the work that's laid out for you no one else can do it so who wrote that on the picture she i did. don't know it must have been her And, okay. So that's your mom's mom? Yes. What was her name? No, it would have been not her mother. It would be her, her herself. That she picked it up somewhere, and that's the advice she put on it. No, but that's your, that's your grandma, and that's yes. her advice. Yes. Okay. And here's a picture of the two of them. And you can see how tall he was and how short she is. And they made a peach of a pair. And I got one of them out in the barnyard. You can see the barn. It's this top photo. You can see the barn there. It's not too good of a picture. But she was out helping him. And here he is and she is. You can see how tall he was. Did you take it? No. I don't know who took these. Okay. And here's a picture of the girls. I didn't take one of the boys. I, this, this is the only part they asked me to take. So, so this is one of my pictures, just of the girls. Well, so point to them and, and, and explain how they're related to you and who they are. Well, they are. They're all, they're all my aunts. Correct. Well, what's their names? Well... And where do they live? Uh, here's June. She lives in... Uh, oh... It's next to Hiram. And there's Grandma. Paradise? Uh, Wellsville. And... She lives in California. That's Aunt Rose, and this is uh, Jerry Allen's mother, and her name is, it's a skip me. Uh, uh, it won't come, so. Okay. Okay, that's all I have for this. Well, where's the picture of him feeding the, the bottle? With the oh, we don't have one. I just... I thought you had I, one in the... No, I fed them. That was me that fed them. It was a big, long bottle, so you get a lot of milk in it, and then that big nipple on the end. I was wondering how the calves got all that in their mouth. Well, where's the one of Grandpa Larson feeding the nursing the cow with a horse? Oh, 
I, I don't have that, but I can get it. What was that about, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know what happened to that picture either. I may have it. Uh, they had this calf and something happened to the mother and so the horse was there, it had a colt and so the calf started feeding on the horse and so they got a picture of it and it's quite a thing. But uh, that uh, pudding that she made. Who, your grandma? Yeah, it was, and it had a crust on the top of it. And it was just the right sweet and everything. And then with those rice in it, it was just really, she was a good cook. And then she could make cookies that were oatmeal and, and then she'd make macaroons and things that were really good and they had a little pantry wasn't too big and she stored all of her sweets in there like I store my sweets over in this cupboard and when the kids come they can always just go there and get some but uh, she cook them on a coal stove yes she everything was wood and coal did they have a coal bin? Um, I don't remember it. Outhouses? Yeah, yes, they did. It was quite a ways from the house. I would have been in trouble if I had to go that far. <laughs> so how did you go when you went to visit them? Well, I go. That's where you go. Were they religious folk? Yes, they were. And... Uh, I have some pictures of them where they're dressed up. Well, this one was. You can see that they're dressed for church. And she was a pretty little lady. And I can see when I look at them that my mother had a lot of her features too, so. When did they die, you know? I don't remember. I don't remember dates and stuff. Okay. Do you know if, do you know anything about their parents? I don't. How often would you go there to see your grandparents? Oh, probably once a week. And it was, it, well, I always looked forward to it. Would you go with your parents or would you ride the trolley? No, ride your car? we always drove. Okay. Anything else you want to talk about? Not about that. We can talk about well, this. Well, how about your sign that says Grandpa Larson said about tithing? Well, I'll have to get it. And well, it says something about the Lord. You can do more with the tenth of the Lord's money. Oh. Why don't you get it and I'll read it, if you can. Well, anyway, that's the gist of it. Your, your money will go farther and you can do more with 90% instead of 100%, which might seem hard for you to do but it'll go farther and that's what his little saying was will you say it all the time no you just, turn it just off. if you got talking church did you ever spend christmases there no or but, thanksgivings but we we saw their tree and everything and I don't remember going there for Thanksgiving, but we probably did. Did you ever have sleepovers? Nope. Play with your cousins over there? Mm-hmm. Uh, they had, <coughs> in their house, they had a uh, stair. I don't think we can see it on this. 
Well, anyway, you had to get up to this part, and it was right in the kitchen. And those stairs were so steep, if you took about eight or ten steps, you'd be right upstairs. It wasn't spread out. They were just really steep. But that's what you had to do to get up there. And then there was a bedroom up there, too. Like what, like a spare bedroom? Mm-hmm. Is that a house where your mom was raised? Yes, uh-huh. She, was she born there? Yes. All of the kids were. You don't know why they came to the high room, do you? Nope, I don't. You ever ride the trolley out to see him? Nope. They had, he's from Switzerland, so he had an accent when he talked. Well, no, he talked all right. But, uh, oh, and there, there was a, a dairy over there. And one of the sister's husband worked there. And that dairy was nice because we could go and get this curd and I always liked that. And, and then another one of the sisters, they had a great big grain. Uh, I guess they stored grain in it. Big tall one. And uh, Darren says it's still there and it hasn't been painted so who? That big green. No, you said I said. Yeah. I, oh, the, yeah, the green one. Yeah. I'll just show a picture of that. Okay. That's about it. And are, yeah. are they buried in Hiram? Yes. Uh huh. Yeah, they are. Did you have any special aunts or uncles with them? Well, they all were. Uh, they all had their, the thing that they did was unique, and uh, one aunt lived in Wellsville, and we'd go visit them, and she grew potatoes and things, and we would have a baked potato there. And that was the best baked potato. Uh, we'd put the butter and sour cream and stuff on it, and that was really delicious. And about every time we'd go, she'd have one. So. Yeah, so that was a tradition. Yeah. Any other traditions you had with them and their their family? Hmm. No. Not that I can remember. Did you like feeding the cows? Did you do farm work with them? No, I just followed them around. I was pretty little. I did feed the calves. And when they drink, they suck on the bottle and then they rear and they about pull it out of your hands. and. Uh, but they sure liked those bottles. So. Okay, you want to talk about uh, the Smiths? Yeah.
I don't have much on them either. Well, I've, I've got some pictures of them. I'll have to bring them. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, we'll talk about the Smiths now. Uh, my dad and my grandpa built a house right next to where the, my uh, grandpa, John Smith, lived. And so I got really close with him, and sometimes I'd go over and ask him if he was hungry. This is when I was quite little. He'd give me some money to go to the store and get a treat, and I always liked that. And he, uh, there's a picture of him. I took this one too, and he was really kind and. He wasn't boisterous or anything. He just uh, was calm and peaceful, and I never did see him get mad at anybody. And he was just fun to be around, and I would work with some things that he was doing. And um, he was a plasterer. He plastered houses. They put lath on the studs and then they would plaster over them and a lot of houses are still today with that same plaster and he uh, he liked to have little treats and uh, at least he acted like it when I'd go get him and here was his wife and she died of cancer. It was a terrible cancer that she had. And she suffered a long time with it. She died about the same time I was born. And uh, here's a picture of both of them. It's kind of ragged. That's when they were both younger. So. But they had a woodshed right almost on my dad's property. Okay, just a sec. I'm going to change the tape because I don't want to. 